times are changing fast. Our interconnected planet demands united action. As we face regional and global challenges, can we act together? St. Petersburg, once known as Russia's window onto Europe, it's now the heart of a unique international project. Until recently, much of the raw sewage from this city of five million flowed untreated into the Navarre River and then into the Baltic Sea. Here, algae blooms flourished, polluting the sea and steadily killing off marine life. International expertise and finance were mobilized to support the local water authority re-engineer the city's sewage system. As a result, 98% of St. Petersburg's wastewater is now biologically treated. It's a groundbreaking example of what can be achieved by goodwill and international cooperation when environmental concerns transcend national boundaries. International seed money initiates the projects, which are then largely financed by the Russian Federation. And St. Petersburg has set an example for similar projects, including five sites across Belarus and in the Russian port city of Kaliningrad to improve further water quality in the Baltic Sea. This collaborative approach to shared environmental problems was pioneered in the field of nuclear safety, remediating the legacy of the Soviet Northern Atomic Fleet. Andreva Bay in the Russian Arctic was home to 22,000 spent nuclear fuel assemblies. It was one of the largest nuclear waste dumps in the world, derelict and leaking, threatening the local population and neighboring countries too. Now, the existing facilities have been renovated and new infrastructure has been built. The first nuclear waste shipments from the site are safely underway. The case of the Lepsi was equally urgent. The ship became an abandoned floating spent nuclear fuel store, steadily rusting in dock and emitting high levels of radiation from the fuel assemblies on board. The vessel was towed to a specialist shipyard where a structure has been erected to safely defuel the ship. The operation should be complete by mid-2020. In the Arctic, we face a new challenge. Soot emissions falling from the atmosphere coat the ice with what's known as black carbon. It absorbs the heat of the sun, melting the ice and accelerating global warming. One step towards a solution is to modernize heating and power plants in the region. An international strategy is called for once again, a united approach to common challenges. We now have the shared expertise and experience to face the future together. To face the future with confidence. <laughs>